little bit for some Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Julia and I am a Dallas-based flight attendant. However, for today's video, we're going to be doing something really special. I was fortunate enough to experience the complete magic of flight firsthand. This was all made possible through the amazing organization Challenge Air for Kids and Friends. Challenge Air was created to change the perception of children with special needs through the gift of flight, to build their confidence and to show them that if they can fly an airplane, they can do anything. The organization was founded by Rick Amber in 1993 after he overcame his personal disability. Rick became a quadriplegic in 1971 when his jet crashed during a landing attempt on a naval carrier. Unfortunately, Rick is no longer with us. He lost his life to cancer in 1997. I was able to talk to Sony Friedman, who is Rick's best friend, who has truly been instrumental in keeping Challenge Air going in Rick's memory. Well, my name is Sonny Friedman. I'm a native Dallasite, as it was the founder of Challenge Air, Rick Amber. So we grew up together. Rick went to Hillcrest High School, then got an appointment to the Naval Academy in Annapolis. He uh, got his dream coming out of Annapolis of flying jets off of aircraft carriers. He was an instructor pilot, which is kind of a special category. Coming back from his 109th mission over Vietnam, Rick's coming in, F.A. Crusader, very nose-high attitude on landing. Carriers coming up and down, and they're trying to guide him in with the light system on the back of the ship, which tells you whether you're high or low. Light system blinked out on his final approach. Didn't have enough fuel to go around, ended up hitting the back of the carrier instead of the top of the carrier. The plane exploded, Rick ejected through the fireball, and lived. It's incredible that he survived that. He broke his back. He was paralyzed from here down for the rest of his life. So he was no longer a Navy fighter pilot, but he was the same guy upstairs, same guy up here. Rick never changed that can-do Navy attitude. He was working with kids, winners on wheels, teaching them to play tennis. And like all pilots, they think everybody wants to go up for a ride. He asked the parents, can I we're in a Cessna and take your kids up for a ride, and he did. So the little boy in the front seat got a different experience than the two little boys in the back seat. Because at altitude, Rick let him fly the plane. Pretty surreal experience. I just flew a plane. I just did something I never dreamt that I could do. So I got a call from Ricky, and he says, okay, I got an idea. Here's what we're going to do with the rest of our life. Swell, what are we going to do? We're going to go buy an airplane tomorrow. You're going to go with me. We bought a Cessna, and uh, the idea was to challenge air. So we started buying kids. Some of these kids, you know, were going through cancer treatment. So that's what Challenger started. Well, I hope we keep inspiring uh, young kids that have challenges to do more than what they think they can do. You just flew an airplane. You never dreamed you could fly an airplane, but you did. So what else can you do? Challenge Air aims to excite children by educating them about the aviation industry. And one unique way this charity does this is through their fly days. A fly day is an incredible event where families, children, volunteers, and pilots all come together to celebrate and exhibit the true magic of flight. Pilots donate their time and fuel to help with these events across the country. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, some fly days have been either canceled or postponed, but there are some coming up in the near future. So if you are a pilot and you're looking for a way to give back, I highly suggest giving this organization a call. Steve Swearingen is a longtime pilot with Challenge Air, and we were able to talk to him about his experiences with the organization and why he loves to do this. Uh, I started about five years ago, really a fun time. You see the smile on their faces, anywhere from uh, they act scared at first, get in there and they find the comfort zone, and you let them control the airplane, these big smiles just melts your heart. One of my favorite stories was I flew with boy, he was probably 14, his mom was in the back, and uh, as we were taxiing, he kept making sure she was videotaping everything, videotaped everything. She was just, he kept turning around very, he was nervous that she was going to miss him. But she assured him that he was going to be on film and everything was fine. We flew, he had a great time. As we landed, we taxied past the tower and he says, 
who's up there? And I said, that's the tower, that's the controller. He says, can I thank them for helping us today? So I give him the microphone. He said the most fantastic thank you that I could imagine. I couldn't have written it better. And you could tell the guys in the tower kind of choked up. It was just amazing. One little girl, she brought these two stuffed animals on the plane. And she would not let go of them. She had a death grip on them. She couldn't see outside with these. She wanted to hold on to these stuffed animals. So I took them and I put them up on the glare shield and put them outside so they could actually see where we were going. She thought for a second and she looks up at me and she kind of smiles and that was okay. And away we went. I'll try to let them fly as much as I can. It's just, I mean, I have a bunch of stories like that. And all, all the pilots have stories like that. It's just uh, amazing kids. It's a great program. I happen to be fortunate enough to meet with a family who has been flying with Challenger for over 10 years. Now all grown up, Tommy and Jimmy Crisp are two incredibly smart 19 year old freshmen in college who both have autism and have found a love for aviation through this organization. Hi, I'm Kathy Crisp. I'm the mama to Tommy and Jimmy Crisp. We started with Challenge Air when they were five years old. They have been flying once or twice a year since then and we just love it and feel like uh, we're part of a Challenge Air family. I have seen a change in them since the first time they flew. Of course, the first time they just loved everything, planes, trains, and automobiles, so it's, it's exciting and fun. Since then, they have taken the steering wheel to the plane. They yoke and flown us many many miles around the metroplex it has given both of them a lot of confidence in themselves and their abilities so tell me what you love about challenge air I offer it can be a guy to your guy a few years ago I didn't think I could ever drive a car but now I've got a license and I go around do my school and back by myself. Awesome. And you're going to college now? What are you studying? Mechanical engineering. What is your favorite thing about flying on an airplane? Seeing of the buildings below, how the yolks so small. What are you studying in school? I'm studying civil engineering. What is your favorite part about flying in an airplane? My favorite part about flying is just being able to control a machine you can't normally do. Just feel powerful that I'm controlling a machine in the air. I do like flying the plane, but the most important thing I get from silence air is probably the message. Because from the message, I get that if I can fly a plane, I can do a whole lot more than that. If I didn't do challenge, uh, I don't know where I would be today. Because the message I got from that really motivated me. And if I didn't get that message, I might be sitting on the couch all day playing video games or something. Instead of actually going to school in order to prepare for a career. It's honestly amazing to see the impact this organization has had on so many lives. Over the years, Challenge Air has been able to reach over 30 36 thousand kids and the program has grown to a network of over 3,500 volunteers nationwide. This organization is always looking for expansion, ways to reach new families, and to continue growing this legacy. Uh, hi, my name is April Culver and I'm the executive director for Challenge Air for Kids and Friends. I've worked for them for the past 10 years. Our mission is to build confidence and self-esteem in kids with special needs through the gift of flight. So we have a program called the Fly Day and we offer a ride to kids with special needs actually get to take the control and um, fly the plane. So one of the unique things about Challenge Air is that we provide this opportunity for these kids to fly airplanes and their parents are so proud of them and they get to do something that most people don't get to do. Our biggest need really is financial donations to help keep these events going on every month and without the support of sponsors and individuals we couldn't change the lives of all these kids with special needs. One of the ways we can help is through donations which can be done through the Challenge Air website as well as supporting them through their social media channels. Any donations made are truly going to such a good cause. The Fly Day events are at no cost to participating families. These events are made possible through donors, corporate sponsors, volunteers, and pilots. My favorite quote from the founder Rick Amber is that the human spirit prevails over any physical or mental obstacle. After a day with challenge air, no height seems unreachable. All it takes is desire and truly the sky is the limit. I feel so fortunate that challenge air reached out to me and I really hope that this can become an ongoing partnership and that 
I can attend a future Fly Day event. I will make sure to put all of the information to Challenge Air's website and their social media channels in the description box below. So make sure that you guys go give them a follow. They are an incredible organization. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more content from me, please subscribe. I hope that everyone is doing well and staying healthy and safe wherever you are in the world. Thank you again, everyone, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.